Welcome back, working enthusiasts! So, Battlefront got its shit together and they fixed the 20% loading bug, which is great. Uh, it took them about a month or so, but we lucked out. We only had to uh, wait for about a day. So, yeah, I'm back. I'm quite sooner than I, than I expected, frankly. But, um, you know, uh, it's the sort of thing you kind of have to be... Uh, prepared for when you're trying to play combat missions. It's a quirky game, let's say, okay? Anyway, um, let's see what happened with this uh, ISU 122 and this headset over there. To be honest, um, Mirak already spoiled it for me and told me because he's a turn ahead. I mean, he sees one sort of turn further than me. But I want to see it with my own eyes anyway. So we're turning and he is actually doing something quite mean and just withdrawing. There we go. He doesn't want to play with us. Oh well. Oh well. But it's such a friendly ISU 122. Oh, now it's sad. Anyway, so that's this um, duel that never happened. Let's actually see what happened on the uh, other fronts, let's call them. So our T-34 here is moving up, our T-34 here is changing position to be in that house. I don't think Mirek expects it to move, I'm pretty sure he still doesn't know where my forces are completely. Um, we've lost sight of the Hetzer, oh no, we still see it. I don't get it, so we have a sound contact when we don't have anyone spotting. Okay, we just don't see it anymore. All right. I wonder if I should maybe put some area fire on him just to scare him off. Up. Oh. All right. So that's back inside. What's happening here then? Where's the where where did those shots come from? Is it here? Oh, okay. Someone tried moving up. All right. And uh, they met our guy's firing arc. Okay. Let's try to figure out who it was. What was it that you are? Some, some, some sort of infantry team. All right. You know, it has an infantryman in it. Okay. Well, it's certainly an infantry team, isn't it? Okay, and they're being fired upon. Okay, great, good job, good job. These guys here are still panicking, which is funny. Um, because apparently, from what we've been talking about, sort of, you know, playing little uh, little metagaming and uh, mind games and stuff, Mirek says they, <laughs> they were quite effective. Um, in uh, scaring him and, uh, or him or his infantry at least. Um, in that building over there, so, huh, there we go, and that heads are moved up there, and it's still up there, probably. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to make sure our, all of our tanks are set up correctly. Um, so let's see your fire. You are incapable of firing on those buildings over there, but you have a line of fire on pretty much anything, and someone's calling you. Well, that they can wait. If they love, they will wait, right? Um, this tank... I like... I have half a mind of moving it here. Hmm. Let's do this. Let's reverse you... Oh, okay. Uh, there's that. What do we do? We know there's a Hetzer going through here. We know that Hetzer can move about a hundred meters through woods per turn. So if he tries anything fancy, we should be able to get him. 
But should I move my T34 before that? Or should I just react to whatever he does? Um, I have a sound contact, and I'm sort of afraid that if he goes deeper into the woods, I'll just lose the sound contact. But I'm thinking all he, all he was really wanting to do here, or he really wants to do here, is to set up on this road, which is fine by us, because we just move up our tank. I Maybe he saw this tank here when we were driving by the road. That, that's entirely possible, which means we're not moving back from here. How's your line of sight? Uh, there's a hillock. All right. Uh, how about here? Well, I can fire here. Ish. Let's scare him just a little tiny bit. Let's fire into the woods. And let's use that time. So I'm not sure. This was basically supposed to be a hammer and anvil maneuver of sorts where the ISU sort of grabbed the attention and if it didn't kill the, the uh, headset, we would have smashed it in the side with this T-34. But he withdrew and I, was, I wasn't expecting for him to withdraw. I'm, I'm actually, I thought he would engage my T-34. Now, I don't want to go into a head-on battle with a headset with a T-34 because... Well, that might end badly, basically. And there's nowhere really for me to sort of encircle it and use my mobility to my advantage against the headser. Now, I don't really want to go into this uh, lane here because, well, there's infantry in there, and German infantry has ways of dealing with tanks, right? Um, so that's not great. I can't move him down the road because there's now a headser observing it. So, hmm. what is it that I can do? I could try to move him here. Let's do that. Let's go quick. And now I'm thinking whether we should uh, go around the house or not. I think we're safe here. I think this elevation here would protect us from any pesky headsers. Although it really might not. So I'm not sure. Hmm. And I certainly don't want to have my, uh, my tank exposed to a headser with its uh, rear armor. No, definitely not. On the other hand, I don't want to go th in front of the uh, ISU because that might end badly in a, in a logjam or even in my tank catching ISU's fire or the headser's fire for that matter. Now I think I'm going to risk this. And I think I should be fine. Or at least I'll hope I'll be fine, and, and that should be enough, right? It's all that matters, and we'll do it as quickly as possible, and we'll move here behind that house. Uh, yeah. Hopefully he doesn't spot it. If he does, well then we're screwed. Anyway, we'll move this tank here. We'll just we'll just motor it on down. I've made my decision, or I made my decision rather. Sorry, my, my grammar's uh, a bit um, more flexible than I like it to be when I'm trying to talk fast and think and make uh, my point pointing gesture thingies and talk at the same time. Um, I mean, usually, I'm the sort of person who doesn't even chew gum at the same time as talking or walking, as it were. Let's do that. Let's move up all the way up there around the wood, trying to uh, surprise the headser. We don't have eyes on it. 
it can either go down and be surprised, or it can go up, go sideways, in which case we might be able to catch him, uh, catch catch him in the rear when he's uh, turned our rear towards us. In which the, if if he goes down the road uh, around these houses or through these houses, I might uh, I might actually have to cross this field on full speed just to catch him. But that's fine. I think I can do that. I think. He might be trying to uh, catch this tank unawares, maybe. I don't know. So let's do this. Let's withdraw a little bit so that we have more of a front armor facing there. And uh, I don't think that would lose us too much of our area of fire. And let's not fire with this tank because maybe we fooled uh, Mirek into thinking this tank and this tank are one tank. Maybe. I don't know. I'm not sure. Um, yeah, so you guys firing. You guys potentially firing. Let's extend your firing arc a little bit. You guys not doing a great job. You guys are doing an excellent job. Can I make your firing arc any bigger? <laughs> Probably not. Nope. That's all we get. And these guys are in this house still. Okay. Can we fire this house? Yes, we can. So as we move away, let's try to put one more shot in. So then he would think we're still there, maybe. Okay. Um, so that's our plan. Slight modification in the middle. Big modifications here and here, and just little scaring fire here with the ISU wanted to. Um, hopefully, that'll be interesting. All right, there's the uh, command squad somewhere here. I don't want to meet that in close quarters. Anyway, um, so that's it. Uh, I'll see you guys later.